Hello, good evening. Hello, how are you, Maurice? Oh, fine, and you? I'm okay. So, what about your weekend? How was it? Good, so uh, so relaxing. Very good. It was very good. Yeah. What yeah. do you do? Uh, I celebrate the birthday of my brother. Oh, okay. I celebrated my brother's birthday birthday yes yeah. okay celebrated simple past celebrated okay. yeah celebrated. celebrated okay that's cool so that means that you ate cake good evening yeah good evening carlos okay that's nice so you enjoy you ate really good you had a good time very good morris okay. okay um carlos omar how are you how do you feel today I'm very funny. Very fine? Yes. Okay. All right. So tell me about your weekend. What do you do? Uh, I go to see the, the cloud, the carcocha. Oh, really? Yes. Uh, I take a, 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 a photos with him. Oh, I took. Yes. And, and they find my... Eh, gorra, ¿cómo se dice gorra en inglés? My cat. My cat. Mm -hmm. They sign my cat. Okay, that's good. All right, perfect. Um, so, good evening, Vladimir. Good evening, Emerson. Good evening, Raul. Good evening, Marian. Good evening, teacher. Tony. Good evening, all right. Okay, good guys. Evening. Good evening. All right, guys. So, I hope you have had a great weekend and that you have also recovered your energies right so we are going to start with a new week um this week we are going to have new topics right so that means new knowledge then guys um we are going to start with the warm-up okay and as a warm-up today we are going to have a game so then we are going to move to grammar and today we are going to cover indirect questions and we are going to start with unit three which is about product line then we are going to move to listening quiz okay we have one we also have a grammar quiz which is about a topic that we covered on friday and then we are going to move to the speaking time and the end of the class okay so that's what we are going to do today and as a warm-up we are going to play so guys i'm going to send this link there you go okay and which is the passcode that you need to enter okay is this one this one is about sentence error correction so you can go ahead and um actually test your uh, skills okay when it comes to basic topics all right so let's go to that link and add your name and also the passcode right which is 775899 okay i send it here in the chat in zoom aquí se los mandé okay in zoom you can go ahead and uh, grab it from there Okay, let me know. Let me know once you once you are in, guys. Good morning. Uh, good evening. Okay. Good uh, evening. Sorry. Good evening. Good evening, Roberto. Okay, so we are actually we're going to play. Okay, so. I already sent the link here on the chat and the code that is going to ask you for is that one. Okay. Teacher. 
Yes, hi Atilio. Good evening. Good evening. I am driving, please. One moment. Okay. Yes, Atilio. Okay, so you won't be able to participate. All right. Thank you. All right. Okay, let me know, okay? Were you able to join? Si pueden entrar. Or no? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes. Oh, yes. yes. Okay. I don't see you. Okay. But um, let me know. Um, Let me see. I think that it was... Roberto, let me know once you are in. Uh, there is... Eh, dice comodines y sale for options um, abajo dice esperando que la función empiece yes yes yo tengo que iniciar I need to actually start okay is anybody missing no okay yes. I'm going who you Carlos okay yes uh, are you ready yes I'm, I'm ready okay all right, here we go. Here we go. Let me see. Okay. There you go, guys. <laughs>
Okay, guys. So I can see that the winner, okay, well, uh, we have a tie, okay, between Roberto and Emerson, okay? So Roberto, you got the first place. Then um, let me see, Emerson. I think that the third place, because I can see that Carlos Omar, you got the second place. Yes, okay, guys. How was it? Difficult? Easy? So, so? So, so. <laughs> yes, you know, I can see that on number one, just three of you answered correct and seven of you answered incorrect. Which is the correct sentence, guys? Let me ask you, okay? So, is it a teenager must to have a job? A teenager must has a job or a teenager must have a job? The second. A teenager must has a job? Yes. Okay. Um, okay, not exactly, guys. Whenever we use modal verbs, we need to use the verb in base form without two. So that means that the uh, correct answer is going to be a teenager must have a job. Okay. Modal verbs. Yeah. Um, okay. Number. Okay. Let me see. Yes. Okay. Number four. Very good. Uh, number five as well was very good. Okay. Okay. Yes, just that one was the one that most of you failed. Okay, number one. Okay, yes. All right, guys, don't worry. That one is about modal verbs, but it's very important that you don't forget about modal verbs, okay? Um, all right, so now let's start with today's class. And for today's class, we are going to start with product line. What is the product line of a company? Do you remember that we uh, talked about that some days ago about the product line? Yeah. So Roberto Esau, help us reading uh, the first paragraph and then please Carlos Omar, the second paragraph with the examples. Okay. Product line. In simple words, a product line refers to a group or collection or related product. Uh, that are offered by a company or brand. These products are typical, typically similar in terms of their purpose, target market, or the industry they belong to. Very good. Let's consider the example of Apple Inc. Apple is a well-known technology company that offers a diverse product line. Here, here are some of the products that are part of Apple's product lines, iPhone, iPad, Mac, Apple Watch, AirPods, Apple TV. Okay, very good. So in this case, guys, uh, guys uh, first of all, let's focus on pronunciation, okay? So this one is going to be typically, typically, all right? So typically, and then this one is going to be diverse. Yeah, diverse and typically. So remember that the product line is basically uh, this type of um, collection, right? That, that type of collection of related products that are offered by a company or brand. And we have the example. We covered uh, different examples um, some days ago, but another example could be apples, right? So in this case, that um, Apple's product, the line is going to be iPhone, iPad, Macs, Apple Watch, AirPods, and the Apple TV. Yeah, this is uh, the line that they have, the product line that they have, okay? So then let's move and let's talk about what is prototype, yeah? What does it mean? What is prototype? What is prototype? Yeah, so let me see. Um, Emerson, can you please help us uh, reading the first paragraph and then Nelly the second paragraph? 
prototype. A prototype is a early, usually a scaled down version or model of a product that is created to test and validate design concept, functionalities, and user interaction. It's served as a tangible representation of the product idea. I love a designer, engineer, engineers, and stakeholders to visual, visualize and evaluate the product's potential before full scale production. Okay. Prototypes can take various forms depending on the nature of the product and the specific objective of the pro prototype. They can range from simple sketches or mockups mock 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 to, to more sophisticated physical or functional models. Very good. So what is the meaning of prototype, guys? Basically, as it says right here, right? So the prototype is a version, okay, or a model of a product. Okay, that is created to test, yeah, and validate design concepts, functionalities, and user interactions. Yeah, it's just a version of the final product. That is the prototype. Yeah. In this case, uh, what is the meaning of stakeholders? What is the meaning of this word, which is very important in business? The stakeholders. Providers. Providers? Yes. Okay. Uh, not exactly. No. The stakeholders. Providers. At the next level, um, you have providers and you have uh, resellers. Okay, so the stakeholders, yes, guys, is going to be las partes interesadas. Yes, the stakeholders of companies. Yeah. So in this case, uh, the prototypes can various form, okay, can take various forms depending on the nature of the product. And we were uh, talking with some of you um some days ago as well about the prototype right some companies require for example uh this type of things agendas right t-shirts right etc it depends on the type of company right that wants the prototype it's like una muestra yeah the prototype okay then this unit is basically related to this Okay, but let's focus on some questions that we need to answer first. What type of new products, in your opinion, require the building of a prototype before mass production? What do you think about this question? Okay, what type of new products, in your opinion, require the building of a prototype? Yeah before a mass production. We have some examples right here, okay? But if you want to add up another one, it's okay, yeah? So let's see, uh, Jose, can you please help us reading the first two? Then uh, please, Tony, the other two. And the last one, uh, please help us reading uh, that, uh, George, the last okay. one. Okay, uh, Consumer electronics, smartphones, tablets, gaming, gaming consoles, wearable devices, etc. Yeah. Automotive products, automobiles, motorcycles, electric vehicles. Very good. Industrial machinery and equipment, complex machinery, industrial equipment and tools, etc. etc. Medical devices, surgical instruments, diagnostic equipment. Pro prosthetics and health card gadgets, etc. Very good. Customer, consumer products. Yes. Household appli appliance, kitchenware, kitchenware, 
home improve kitch kitchenware home improvement tools toys etc okay. fashion and apparel clothing footwear and accessories etc okay very good guys those are examples okay of products that um, at some point require prototype okay so we have consumer electronics yeah automotive products right industrial machinery and equipment yeah medical devices consumer products and fashion and apparel we have those examples um do you have any other idea of products that need a prototype Maybe no? in in um maybe of robotics products. Yes. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nancy Redactor. Teacher. Yes. Uh, uh, cosmetic. Cosmetics, yes, that is correct as well. Mm -hmm. Yes, that is really important. Things that you are going to actually put on your on your face, on your body, right? Creams, yes, very good. Makeup, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Now. Let's move and let's start with today's uh, class, right? Um, let's start with the information from the book. We have Tom and Diana are discussing ideas to begin prototyping a new bicycle model, okay? A new bicycle model. Let's read the conversation and let's um, answer those questions, okay? I need two volunteers. One is going to be Diana and the other one is going to be Tom. Yes, two volunteers. Me, 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 Thank you. Okay, so Emerson, you are Diana and Aleida, I think that I, I heard that she said me. Yes, yes, yes. Teacher. And you are Tom, okay? Okay, I am Tom. Okay. Yes. The X elevator has green light to be, to be produced now. We need it to work on a prototype. Great. I think our best choice is to hire steel master. So they build a good prototype to help us spot any flaw. We have been identified, identified in the design. I agree, Tom. The prototype will, will have our manufacturers to the very current with the design of the handlebar, the frame and the saddle, which are the innovative furniture of the X elevator. Good point. In addition, the prototype will ensure communication is clear. They will know exactly what we want. Totally. Then I will I work on the sketch of the part. And you might want to start with the description and the specification of each. So still mirrors start working. All right. All right. Okay. So very good guys. Produced. All right. Produced. And this yes. one is going to be accurate. Accurate. And this one is the saddle. Yeah. Saddle. Guys, what is the meaning of saddle? Saddle. I don't have a picture. Okay. The saddle is like saying la silla de, de la bicicleta, la silla. Mm, okay. El sillín oh. creo que es en español. In Spanish, sillín, I think that is the name. I'm not sure. Okay. Yeah. Okay. yeah. But that is the saddle. All right. Um, okay. 
Let me ask you, what are two reasons Diana and Tom mentioned to build a prototype of the X accelerator? What are two reasons? Uh -huh. Why do they want to build a prototype? Let's read based on the reading. To help to help them um, spot any flaw that they have. Excellent. In the design. In the design. Perfect. Yes. Okay. And what else? Two reasons. Um, the prototype will help them manufact manufacturers to be very accurate. Accurate. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, very handles. Yes. Okay. Excellent. Very good. Okay. So in this case, uh, what is the meaning of the frame? What is the frame? Remember that uh, we are talking about bicycles. Uh, chassis. Ok. Yes, o, es como, o marco, no, no sé. Como la estructura. Es yes, como el marco, la estructura. Very good. And the handlebars. No. Ok. Son como las. <coughs> Volante, manillas. Las manillas. 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 Ahí tiene Darius en el O manecillas. Yes. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay. Very good. And number two, what are the distinctive features of the new product? Features. Yes. Mm -hmm. The handlebars, yeah. the frame, and the saddle. X. The handlebars, the frame, and the saddle. Okay, teacher. But what is the meaning of features? Because I don't get that word. That's why I don't get the question, right? What is features? Caracteristic. Yeah. Unique. Yes. Los distintivos, right? De un producto. ¿Cuáles son los features? Right. Uh -huh. And number three, what two tasks will Diana and Tom do before ordering the prototype to a steel masters? Two tasks. He has to work in a sketch. Mm -hmm. And? And a sketch of part. He might want to start with the, the description and the specification. Very good, okay. So they will work on the sketch of the parts and also the description and the specifications of each. Very good, yes, correct. Okay, excellent. All right, guys, now let's move. And it says, let's rank the advantages of prototyping from most relevant being one to least relevant, which is number six, all right? So let's see, uh, what are the advantages of prototyping? Now that we know that prototyping is just like a muestra, right? A sample of the final product. What are the advantages? What do you think is the most relevant from those 
uh, that we have right there. Let's see, help us reading the first three, eh, Tony, and the other three, please, eh, Carla. Okay. Mm -hmm. Just only read, not ordering. Yes, just read, okay. yes. Okay. Obtain more details to describe the product more effectively. Verify the functionality of the product, e.g. identified flaws that were not forcing in the design stage. Okay. For, forcing or forcing? Very good, forcing. Forcing, okay. Yes. And review initial product shapes or branding image. Uh -huh. yes. Thank you. Hello. Hello. Elicit feedback from customers or early adopters. As assess the performance of various materials. Okay, okay. <laughs> Ensure potential manufacturers are ca capable of making the prototype, okay. sourcing the parts putting them together. Okay. All right. So now let's see guys. First of all, pronunciation. Yeah. Um, this one for sin. Okay. For sin. Yeah. Illicit. Illicit. Yeah. Various. Assess. Yeah. And this one capable. 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 Okay. Very good. All right. Yes. I have two questions. Yes. What does it mean illicit and capable? Yes. Illicit in this case is like um get, like make them give you something. Illicit. Yeah. Whenever, I, uh, for example, um, if I ask a question right here, I'm eliciting because you are giving me the answer. Yeah. So, and in this case, they are going to give feedback. They are going to get it from the customer. Yeah. Okay. And then capable, you said? Uh-huh, exactly. Okay. Capable is just being able to. Able to. Como yeah. capacidad o capacitado para. Correct. Capacitar. Uh -huh. Correct. Mm -hmm. Like, um, que sean capaces, right? Ensure potential manufacturers are capable of making the prototype, right? You need to make sure that they are capable, que sean capaces de realizar el prototipo que necesitamos. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very good. All right. So now... Let's go ahead and try to label those. Okay, let's rank from the most relevant to the least relevant. What do you think? Which is the most important in your opinion? Uh -huh. The advantages, right? Uh -huh. I think one of the advantage could be the first, obtain more detail to describe the product more effectively. More effectively, yes, okay. Obtain more details to describe the product more effectively. Okay, very good, okay. Number two. Um, maybe elicit feedback from from customers or early adopters. Yes, I think that that one is very important, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because at the end, the customers will be the ones that are going to get in, uh, are going to get the product, right? So what about number three? Oh. Uh -huh. Ensure, ensure uh, uh, potential manufacturers are capable of making the prototype. Okay, now repeat after me and say capable. Capable, capable. 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 Yes, capable. very good, capable. Okay, 
Number four. I yeah. think that the number three, number three is assess the performance of various material. But not okay. In um, yeah, I mean, oh, in this, um, I mean, there is not like, uh, you know, something established, right? It's just the way that you think it is. Oh, it's, it's, yeah, we can say that it is number three or here three, and let's put number four there, right? It's okay. I mean, yeah. And then what about number five? Which is the least relevant advantage? I think that the next one can be verify the functionality of the product G, identify flaws that mm -hmm. were not foreseen in the design stage. Okay. That, that will be number five for you. Yes, yes. Okay. And let's leave number six right there, right? I mean, those are advantages, right, that uh, the prototyping uh, give us. It depends, right, on your point of view. Mm -hmm. Okay. So let's move. Okay, let's move. And now what we are going to do is the following. Yeah, we are going to work on this. We need to prepare a presentation. We are going to choose a new product that you need to create. Yeah, we need to make the list of features as specific and detailed as possible. Remember that features are characteristics, right? At least five of the new product, yeah? Then we are going to brainstorm the materials needed to create a prototype, at least three or four type of uh, materials that we are going to need. And then we are going to list the benefits of building a prototype of your new product, at least three benefits, okay? Not that much. Three benefits, four type of materials, and five features of the new product. Now, I have added some ideas for you to based on, okay, of new products that you can actually um, create, okay? You can create a smart home security system. Yeah, that's something new, probably. Eco-friendly kitchenware. Okay, yeah, I, I don't know if we already have this. A portable solar power charger. I think that we don't have that one. Okay, a smart water bottle. I think that we don't have that one. I don't know. Okay, a smart water bottle that gives you a lot of things like uh, that actually remembers you, right? That you need to drink water or something like that. I don't know. Okay, so interactive language learning tool. I think that we have some, but you can invent another one. You can create a new one with different features, right? With your own style. And then we also have a smart gardening system, right? Imagine something that tells you that the plants need water or something like that, right? I don't know. Okay, so uh, those are ideas. Of course, if you would like to uh, create another type of product is Okay, it's perfect, okay? So those are just ideas, yeah? But what we need to do is this one, okay? Uh, choose a new product, make the list of features, at least five, brainstorm the materials, at least three or four materials that you will need, and three benefits, yeah, of building the prototype of that new product the advantages, the benefits of creating the prototype before launching the product, right? Okay, so that's what we are going to do right now. We are going to work um, in teams, right? And then we are going to come back and we are going to continue with um, the presentations and then we are going to move to the grammar part that we have for today, yeah? Do you have any question? Something that... Um, it's not clear. Uh, do you need a presentation in PowerPoint or we will make to in, in, in Microsoft Word or, or anything? Oh, no, uh, maybe in PowerPoint would be perfect, okay? okay. So you can present your, your product. Yes, guys. Okay, I'll give you around uh, probably 10 minutes, right? So you can work on this, okay? Oh my gosh.
Okay, el producto vamos a escoger. Okay. What fruit? What fruit? Hmm. I I am interested in the garden um system. Hello, everyone. Hello. First, we have to, to choose a, a product. In my opinion. Smart. 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 Um, security system. Okay. Okay. System. Okay. We have a, the product, okay. Um, what features we, we want to have this product? Number one. Um, um, okay, what? Huh? Make a list of... Um, Face and tactile, or, or just face? Uh, tactile. Um, tactile. Finger. <coughs> okay. Wireless. Wireless function. Which kind of product? Can we, I don't know, I can propose, I propose that we can create a liquid to protect uh the the pain of the of the cars and at the same time to help uh when it rain um to protect the 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 pain the pain yeah, the la pintura of the car and the I don't know how do you say parabrisas in English I don't know Okay. It could be, but I'm not sure. Maybe you have another another possible product. Or can be a, a system of, of a car, for example. Mm, yeah. I don't know. But can see. At par, you propose that. Very um, star protective system. System. Hello. Can you describe like the, the, the example that you say? The what? Can you say the, the example you say before? Okay. Uh, I was proposing about a liquid. So it's a, a solution. Yeah, a solution. It's a liquid. It is a product that you can put in your car, but in the, uh, outside the of the car. In the windshield. Mm -hmm. The windshield. Yes. Yeah, yeah. 
in the windshield, but in all the car because it's going to protect the, the la pintura sería, in this case, paint. The paint. The paint, yeah. And for in in and for a uh, the wind wind sorry teacher could you please yep. repeat that? windshield windshield yeah and the windshield when it's raining mm -hmm. because it's going to help to maintain in good condition um, in good condition yeah the pain and in the wind in the wind I don't know the windshield the windshield uh, yeah. The windshield, <laughs> yeah, it, it's going to be easier that the rain uh, does uh, don't. Ah, it's difficult for me. Don't uh, empañar in this case, teacher. Um, I will say mist. Mm -hmm. Mist the 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 window. The window, the or the windshield, the windshield. windshield. Yeah. I don't know if you understand my idea. I think I yes, understand. yes, yes. I got it. I think that that we can we can choose a, a product in general for a car, a a, a, a liquid, like yeah. a, a product light, like a product light of a liquid. Uh, yes, that helps to the car, for example, with. Chucha, que chivo sería ese jardín. El solito se mantendría. O lo de dirlo yeah. por dar. <laughs> Smart. Gardening systems. Hi, teacher. Hello. Emerson, Hello. In, uh, in the chat, I, I wrote or, or an automated it. system. Ahí está. Eh, That's it. También. Yes. Uh, uh, internet system control. No, it's IoT. Use IoT in I IoT. Teacher, you know what what an IoT means? Let me see. IoT. Uh, uh, like in the chat. RRT. No, I don't. Internet for other things. Internet is. Of, of other things. Mama. It's like a, a smart Medicine. house. You need oh, really? to control. Really? Yes. Yeah. The first time I heard that is being in IOT 2012. Okay. Yeah, I think that there are houses <laughs> like that right in the US. No, also in yeah. Salvador. Really? Yes, also in Salvador. Actually, Tony had had that in his house. Okay. That's cool. Yeah. IoT. Okay. IoT. Um, temperature. Oh, me, Luis. Temperature. What? There. Me house. Temperature control. In Spanish, but in Spanish is so tasty so, to mm -hmm. say this. Entonces, yeah. S smart. Ah, no. A smile, a smile, a smart lock, a door lock. S S D L. A smart <laughs> smile door lock. Smile. A smile, a smart door lock. Okay. Materials. La <laughs> Maybe Arduino. Hmm? Use Arduino. Grina. Arduino. Arduino. Ah, chispas. Exactly. Thank you. ¿Cómo se? Así sería como 
regado, basado en la temperatura ambiente. Ambiente. Environment. Temperature. Yeah. Okay. We need something more. Um, yeah. Lo del fertilizante. With the... ¿Cómo se dice fertilizante en inglés? Fertilizer. Fertilizing. Ajá, fer fertilizar en base a, a la estación. Teacher. Yes. How do you, do you say maleza? Maleza. You know what is maleza? Is mm. the, las plantas que no quieren que crezca. El monte. <laughs> yes. Um, uh, uh, Aromatic con, control of fertilizing and herbicides. Maybe. Maleza. Yeah, herbicides. Ah, herbicides. herbicides. Maleza, ajá. Uh -huh. But you know, um, the the common word it is weeds. Weeds, weeds, ah, uh, weeds. Maleza. <laughs> Me suena conocido, pero. <laughs> uh, aquí, okay. aquí es otra cosa. <laughs> por las películas, por las películas. <laughs> Yo wow. estoy seguro que, que Tony va a saltar cuando lea eso. <laughs> Ah, ah. Yeah. Invasive is... Ah, oh, es... Tal es como se dice estaciones. Seasons? Seasons. No, pero ¿cómo se dice las estaciones esas, teacher? The seasons? Spring, no. Spring, spring, The spring. season. Only season. Okay. Spring, winter, yeah. summer, fall. Seasons season. of the year. Mm -hmm. Okay. Season of the year. Of the year. Uh huh. Okay. Quitarle el in. Automated, automated fertilized based. Based of season the of the year. De, ahí, de, based. On. Based on seasons of the year. Based season of the year. Okay. We need something more. Um. Uh, with the herbicide Automa automated um yeah fertilizer. automated so, with with control is yeah. uh, that's okay fertilize or it's different fertilize También podemos poner alert system, un sistema de alerta. ¿De qué? ¿De qué? Ajá. Algo, está, algo está funcionando mal en el equipo. Ah, ¿cómo se llama eso? Uh, alert system of default. It's like like checking in but no it's checking in is is más o menos eso como un auto mantenimiento entre el sistema de fallo en caso de fallo no se refiere a que él él te notifica si algo falla ah okay alert fault system es alert fault system I don't know how to pronounce that. Oh. 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 Yes. Oh. See? Okay. No. I'll the With the fold. Fold. Number four. 
Fault. Fault no es LT. Fault. 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 Fault system. Yes. No es fault. No. Fault. 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 Falta una E, ¿verdad? Una L, perdón. Failure. No. Y así es, failure. Failure. Alert failure system. Okay. Sí, vamos. Okay. Okay. One benefit can be a uh, uh, doesn't damage the car against uh, the, the conventional product, maybe. What? Doesn't damage the car. Okay. Doesn't. No damage, no damage the car. Mm -hmm. Yes. No damage. If friendly uh, with the environment too. Mm. Okay. I sent you in the, in the chat, uh, Nelly, no damage the car. Thing is. Mm -hmm. Friendly with them. with with is with uh an H at the end with yes mm -hmm. thank you Puede ser como probar la consistencia. El beneficio. Bien. Bison, a bison, a material new. Ah, yeah, see, it's a protein. Yeah, see, eh. Yeah, Este, ¿cómo se dice? Llamar al jardinero para podar cuando ya esté muy alto. <risa> Gross is... No un aviso. ¿Vea? Notificación de poda, automatizado. Ajá, cabal. Ajá. 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 Ya ven que por lo menos por experimento nos va a llamar. ¿no? <risa> Tiene que darle hasta abajo. 
hasta abajo le va a aparecer este, una cosa así buscar, ajá, ah, va, le va a buscar ¿Cómo se dice puedo? Y de ahí de, de, ahí de eso Grass pruning Pablo Pablo Ah, ya te encontré. Te voy a mandar Pruning. una imagen al WhatsApp. Ahí está. Pruning. Pruning. Glass. Pablo. Grass. Pruning. When the grass is green and the grass are pretty. Eh, eh, Pablo, te mandé una imagen. Ah, oh, no. ¿Quién es el que, el que estaba compartiendo? Emerson. Ahí le van a aparecer. Yes. Bueno, tenemos cinco. We have five. Okay. List the benefits building and prototype of your new product. Okay. Emerson, ¿cuál es su número? Te voy a mandar 30, un email. 30, 87, 23. Okay. Te voy a mandar una imagen. Ahí está. No me apareció ahí en el cuadro. Están cultivando marihuana, ¿no? Yes. With a Snoop Dogg. Come on, guys. <laughs> Sorry, teacher. Let's put it on the Ban it. Platform. Of yes. Of YouTube. Yes. Uh-huh. <laughs> What was the question, Nelly? Sorry. Um, who's who going to uh, talk about you? <laughs> <laughs> yes, you can do it. I'm going to help you if you if you want, or maybe who else is in the group? Okay. Well, you have Roberto, you have Pablo, you have George. George, hello. <laughs> oh my God, George, you haven't talked. <laughs> yeah, but he's there. Yeah. Roberto. Okay, just five minutes, okay? Okay, we are, yeah, we come back, yes. Okay. My microphone. Yeah. My microphone. It's my microphone. It's my microphone. Quítale el make. No, mira que mi mamá tenía una transmisión, una transmisión, porque se me había cerrado la... ¿Cuáles son los beneficios? Y no, no podía. Of the prototype. Y no me dieron. Ah. Keep garden. Y esa, y esa consulta que dan. Mantener el jardín regado. Can't take my thing. Yo creo que aquí... Sería como el, no el beneficio del, del sistema, sino que es este que logramos del, el, 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 del prototipo. Ok. Evitar problemas. Avoid problems. Avoid problems. 
o avoid issues. Avoid issues. Avoid issues. 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 It's okay like that, teacher. For issues, uh, yes, you are missing the letter E. Issues. Letter E. There. Issues. issues. About issues. About issues. Uh huh. And uh, when it says benefit of make prototype, you can say benefits of prototyping. Prototyping. Yes. And you remove make. Mm -hmm. Of prototype. Very good. Okay, guys. Estimate cost. Estimate cost. No. With it. Gracias, igualmente. Saludos allí. Díganle a Rica que tenga paciencia al máster. El máster de la compu. Day testing. Durability. Durability. Por Dios, se me va a fregar otra vez a la polémica. Estimate us. Taste performing. Taste the performance. Uh, we have some, somebody of Santa Ana. Estimate cost. 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 Estimate. Cost. 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 Ah. Testing the performance. performance and the durability. 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 Es que siento que voy a decir durabilita. <laughs> durability. Ajá. Es que se me metió en la cabeza durability. Test. Test. Performance. performance. And test. No, test performance and durability. Yeah, eh. <laughs> failure. <laughs> and durability. Something else. Capital letter T. ¿Cómo sería como select device? Es seleccionar como los dispositivos para armar. Select device, no. For the system, yes, select device, devices for oh, the choice device. Choice, no. Choose. Come Choose. Device. Choose, uh, choose system choose. device. Choose system device and raw materials. <laughs> system. ¿Cuántos tenemos que hacer? Three. 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 Yeah, three. three. But we have four. Ah, okay. Yes. We finished. Yes. You finished? Yes. Perfect. Okay. The funny, the funny thing I do 
this in the uh, high school. Yeah, no, you did. No smart garden system, but I do a uh, circuit for control the, the car for you in your phones. Oh, really? From your phone? Yeah. From? Yes. 12, okay. no, 14 years ago. Okay. Long time ago, right? Long time ago when I be a child. <laughs> be when you were <laughs> young. Right now. Yes, when I was a child, okay? All right, yeah. give me one second. Let me see if the other ones are ready, okay? If not, give me one minute, okay? Okay. Okay. Hello. You. Um. Let me see. I'm not able to see your screen, Nelly. Okay, guys, so just let's wait for the other ones to join. Let me see. Okay. All right, so I think that we already have everybody here. Let me just make sure, yes. Okay, so I'm going to take the attendance. So please say present once you hear your name. Aleida Esmeralda. Present teacher. Thank you. Atilio Ernesto Castillo. Present teacher, already in my house. Excellent, okay. Carlos Omar Linares. Carlos Omar. Mm, okay. Carlos Vladimir Rodriguez. Present teacher. Thank you. Daisy Elizabeth Recinos. Present teacher. Thank you. Eduardo Franco Núñez. Present teacher. Thank you, Frank. Let's see. Emerson Ulises Monroy. Emerson? Present. Oh, thank you. Eh, Jonathan Jose González. Present. Thank you. Jorge Antonio Sánchez Quiñones. Present teacher. Thank you. Eh, Jose Bernardo López. Present teacher. Thank you. Juan Antonio Elías Flores. Present teacher. Thank you. Juan Jose teacher. Herrera Albre. I'm here. Sorry, my internet is bad. Yes. Okay. Don't worry. Okay. Pres present teacher. Thank you. Carla Sofía Argueta. Present. Yes. Kenia Elizabeth Rodríguez. Present teacher. Thank you, Kenia. Luis Miguel Corbera. Present teacher. Thank you. Marian Scarlett Rodríguez. Marian Scarlett. Mauricio Antonio Velázquez. Present teacher. Thank you. Nelly Lilibeth Andrade. Nelly. Pablo Adalberto Abrego Vázquez. Present. Thank you. Raúl Antonio Jordán Miranda. Present. Thank you. Roberto Esaú Celaya. Present teacher. Thank you. Eh, Sandra Abigail Bonilla. Present. Okay. 
Eh, Tatiana Ivonne Torres. I am here, teacher. Thank you. Wendy Maricela Ramírez. Present, teacher. Thank you. And Wilber Jonathan Bautista Aguilar. Okay, very good. Okay, guys, um, who wants to go first with the presentation? Nobody? Our group teacher. Okay, perfect. All right. So, Aleida and your team. Yes, Carlos Omar, don't worry. Nelly, sir. Nelly, are you here? I think Nelly is having issue, internet issue. Oh my God, and she has the presentation. Yeah, I think that she's having some issues. Um, if you like, we have the presentation now. Okay. And you yeah, and then you. Okay. Okay. Okay, let me see. Um, I'm going to make the, the first part, the presentation of the product, and then my co-partners uh, will explain you the product. Okay. Our product is a smiling dog, a smiling lock. It's okay. a smart lock door for your home, for your house. Okay. And... Uh, the name is the smiling lock. It's a face and finger recognition, wireless function, camera and video 4K, Wi-Fi enabled, and Play Store and Apple Store available. The materials to make the prototype uh, Arduino, batteries, camera, Finger sensor, microphone, Wi Fi antenna, a small touch screen, recycled pets, it's still in aluminum frame, and fiberglass cover. Oh, okay. Benefit. Oh, Wendy, thanks. Benefits Acer to use a managed wire a smartphone, always keep control of your home, be there control from anywhere. Mm -hmm. Anywhere your home is always safe, protect you valuable EAC installation. Okay, that's all. Okay. Um, Okay. All right. We don't uh, have more enough time. Yes, don't worry. Um. Okay. So let me recall. Um. Okay. Wendy, safe. Okay. Safe. And valuable. 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 Okay. Yes. Very good. Thank you. Right. Thank you. Interesting. Yes, interesting. Okay, so let's see. Let's see. Emerson. Okay. Um, sorry, I have a problem with my Zoom, but it's on right now. Okay, Nelly. Don't worry. We're yeah. You are um the last one. Okay. So right now Emerson is going to present, and then you. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. Did you see? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay, teacher, we have a smart gardening system. Okay. 
we had a few benefits for us for the typing, like avoid, avoid issues, estimate costs, test performance and durability. And we have to choose system device. Okay. Okay, next. Okay, nobody. Okay, automate, automate system with IoT. Mm -hmm. IoT is Internet of the Thing. We we control our system remote in in our our smartphones. Mm -hmm. and the first one will control the temperature weighting basis on environment temper temper must temperature temperature. Uh, automate fertilizer basis on se season of the year, alert failure system, flood and weed detection, notify the alert to my automate glass pruning. 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 The system called to guard the person. How how would you call? How would you say guard the uh, jardinero? I don't remember. Okay. Uh, yes. Okay, only that teacher. We don't have more time to, to do. Yes. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. Uh, uh -huh. uh, include the material and the cable, yeah. cables. Cables? Cables. Cables. Cable. And sensor. Okay. Battery. Batteries. Battery. Okay. Uh, yeah. Manual. Yeah. Or, or, or manage. The manual. Only this teacher. Perfect. That was awesome. Okay. So I just have some observations when it comes to the typing. Okay. For example, on number two, what it says automated. Okay. Automated. That one is okay. I mean, okay. just application. Yeah. Uh, seasons. Because you are, you have added sessions sessions of the year but in that case it should be seasons right seasons s-e-a uh-huh well seasons see s-e-a seasons season uh -huh. like that Yes, uh, you just remove one S and the letter I. Seasons. And the letter I. Oh, no, that one is okay. Season, S-E-A-S-O-N. Yeah, the letter I. Just remove the letter, the letter I. I. The letter I? Esos son los nervios del chico de la gráfica. No worry, okay, it's okay. Um, all right. Okay. Cuando empezaba la, la pandemia. All right, guys. Okay, very good. Okay, I think that this project, right, this product is interesting as well. So let's see. Um, Nelly. We have a vehicle protection solution. And first, uh, my partner, uh, Roberto, uh, I want to talk about features. Okay. Uh, we choose the this product because to, we want to to protect the the car, for example, the, the wind, the parabris the wind, windshield, windshield, okay, the car windows and the the paint of the uh, of the car. Uh, 
Okay. Uh, the fissures are the first one protective uh, wiki for be vehicles paintwork. Mm -hmm. uh, easy to use. Uh, windshield anti fogging. Uh, friendly with environment and anti scratch. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna talk about materials. Um, materials are chemicals and container. And Pablo. And punch, a potato, and gloves. Well, Aleida and me talk about the benefits of building a prototype. Mm -hmm. Yes. Like mm -hmm. You? Yeah, if you prefer, I can, I can um, start. Identify, okay. okay, the benefits of building a prototype is, one is identify, uh, sorry, identify possible points for improvement, mm -hmm. um, not not damage the car, okay, uh, and it's friendly with uh, the environment. Mm -hmm. There's product consistency, product other effectiveness, and minimize cost. Okay, very good, right. Okay. Excellent. All right, guys. Um, so let's see. And uh, thank you, Nelly. Okay, thank you, Alida. Thank you, uh, George Pablo. All right, guys. Um, I would like to point out some things. Okay, first of all, I would like to say that I really like that you are working as a team. Okay, once I joined the breakout rooms, you are working as a team, and that is something good. Okay, that I have noticed. Now. Uh, maybe something that we need to improve is whenever you are going to present, right? That sometimes you do not like know who is going to present, right? And you are like, okay, so who is going to present? Well, nobody, right? And you are like, no, you as a team need to coordinate that, right? You need to coordinate once you are on the breakout rooms. Yeah. Ooh. Then, um, but it was good, okay, because, uh, well, I noticed that, I don't know why, but once we come here to the main room, yeah, nobody wants to, like, participate, right? But when you are in the breakout room, you are talking and talking and talking, right? So, but okay. Then right now, um, what I would like to mention as well is the following, okay? Something that I have noticed and that I think that is very important to address is this. Whenever you are in the breakout room, I want you to use English, okay? Because I have heard that you are speaking in Spanish. Yeah, but we need to speak in English. Yes, and if, um, I mean, your partner does not probably comprehend everything, you need to try to explain to that person. And in this case, I need you to avoid saying the following, okay? Because um, I have heard that most of you say when you don't understand what your partner is telling you, what? And that is really rude, okay? Because imagine if I say that to you, for example, you are asking me something and I say, what? Right? So you will be, you will feel, um, I mean, it's not, um, I would say, a polite way, right, to Good ask. Fair. Yes, it sounds very rude. So avoid saying that, yeah? Try to use other words. For example, I'm sorry, I didn't understand. What do you say? Right, because if someone tell you what, right? So it's like very rude and impolite. So try to not like ask whenever you don't have the idea clear. If you want to ask for clarification, try to use kind words. For example, I'm sorry, I didn't understand. What did you say? Or, sorry, what did you say? Or, I didn't get that. Can you repeat? Yes, instead of just what. 
Now, uh, then the other thing is that whenever we want to say, for example, um, les voy a explicar, this is about grammar, you can say, I am going to explain to you. That two needs to go in the middle, okay? If you say, I'm going to explain you, that is not correct. We need to say, I am going to explain to you, yeah? And then uh, liquid, pronunciation, all right? And remember that whenever you don't know a word, you can go ahead and look it up in your dictionary, right? So if you don't know, I don't wanna hear again, like saying, uh, for example, right, eh, almohada. How do you say almohada? And nobody knows, because I heard, nobody knows. And you say, bueno, como sea, no sé como se dice, almohada, yeah? No, guys, because in that case, you need to go ahead and look it up. If you don't know, no diga, como sea, no sé, right? Porque entonces se queda con ese vacío. Yeah. You need to go ahead and try to look it up in the dictionary. Yes. So I need to improve on that. But I really like that you are working as a team. Okay, and that you are actually doing uh, the presentations. Okay, I know that it's not that easy because of the vocabulary, but you are doing great. Okay, so we are going to move and we are going to talk about, um, well, we are going to take the listening quiz that we have for today, and then we are going to move to grammar. And if you notice, the grammar part is going to be a really interesting topic, okay? So I need to pay attention, but first we are going to start with listening, yeah? Then let's go to get um, the link. Okay, let me go ahead and get it for you if you don't have it. Yes, I think that. Um, okay, so there you go. Um, this is the link. And the passcode, as you already know, is going to be listening, okay? The same as always. Once you are in, let me know, and we are going to play it um, two times, okay? Two times. Ready? Okay. So guys, here we go. Okay, here we go. And let me share the sound. Yes. Okay. So Susan, do you have anything planned for this Saturday? Uh, I'm kind of busy. Why do you ask? Oh, I was wondering if you'd like to get together and do something like catch a movie or take a walk down by the lake. I'd love to, but... I'm really going to be busy all day on Saturday. What do you have going on that day? First, my mom asked me to help clean the house in the morning. And then I have a dentist appointment at 1230. I can't miss that because I've canceled twice before. Well, what about after that? Well, I'm going to be running around all day. After the dentist appointment, I need to meet Julie at 2 o'clock to help her with her science project that's due on Monday morning at school. Okay, but are you free after that? Hardly. Then I have to pick up my brother from soccer practice at 4.30, and my mom asked me to cook dinner for the family at 5.30. I feel like a slave sometimes. <laughs> then I have to clean the dishes and finish reading my history assignment. Who knows how long that'll take. Wow, sounds like you're going to have a full day. Hey, listen. Why don't I come over later in the evening and we can make some popcorn and watch a movie? Oh, that'd be great, but our TV's broken. Ugh. Well, let's just play a game or something. Sounds good, but give me a call before you come. My mom might try to come up with something else for me to do. <laughs> okay, here we go the last time. So, Susan, do you have anything planned for this Saturday? Uh, I'm kind of busy. Why do you ask? Oh, I was wondering if you'd like to get together and do something, like catch a movie or take a walk down by the lake. I'd love to, but I'm really going to be busy all day on Saturday. 
What do you have going on that day? First, my mom asked me to help clean the house in the morning. And then I have a dentist appointment at 1230. I can't miss that because I've canceled twice before. Well, what about after that? Well, I'm going to be running around all day. After the dentist appointment, I need to meet Julie at 2 o'clock to help her with her science project that's due on Monday morning at school. Okay, but are you free after that? Hardly. Then, I have to pick up my brother from soccer practice at 4.30, and my mom asked me to cook dinner for the family at 5.30. I feel like a slave sometimes. <laughs> then, I have to clean the dishes and finish reading my history assignment. Who knows how long that'll take. Wow, sounds like you're going to have a full day. Hey, listen, why don't I come over later in the evening and we can make some popcorn and watch a movie? Oh, that'd be great, but our TV's broken. Ugh. Well, let's just play a game or something. Sounds good, but give me a call before you come. My mom might try to come up with something else for me to do. <laughs> It's a friend zone. Okay, homework. Let me see. <laughs> okay. It's true. <laughs> okay, let me see. Um, all right, George, Jose, Aleida, Jonathan, uh, Juan Jose. Carlos. The girl is so polite but rude. <laughs> rude. <laughs> okay. A, Tony is a friend. So. Come on, guys. All right, so <laughs> let me see. I can see that many of you um, actually got 100, okay? I think that it was very understandable, right? It was very understandable. Okay, all right, guys. Now let's continue, okay? And we're going to move to the following. I need, um, let me see, three volunteers. One is going to be Lucia, another one, Martha, Lucia. and Greg. Luis. Okay, so Luis, you are going to be Lucia, eh, Carlos Omar. Well, I don't know if you have it in the service now, Carlos, Omar. Yes, teacher, yes. Okay, you are Martha, Carlos. And Atilio, you are Greg. Okay. I wonder if you receive a copy of the analysis for the production process. I have, thank you. I have, thank you, Lucia. Perfect. I would like you to receive the step of to verify that we are ready to start the production or new shampoo. All right. I did like to know of the quality control. Stay to the speed of, of the product is in here. Yeah, that's a good point. Great, Martha. Would you mind telling telling us if the cost to run a second quality control we got very high? Of course. Let me revise my files. Great. Could, could you find out if the production manager is around? I need him to. Clarity, clarify what yeah. the revision set is about. Thank you. All right, guys. Um, let's see. So, as you can see in this role play, okay, so we have different phrases which are in bold, right? So, right now, let me ask you, what is the new product Lucia, Martha, and Greg are discussing about? New shampoo. shampoo. Very good. And what are two steps of the production process they mentioned in the conversation? What? what? Mm -hmm. What are two steps? Uh, I like to know the quality control step should be repeat. Okay, repeat it. Yes. Okay, the quality control, okay. And may, maybe to the, will you mind telling us if the cost to run 
a second quality control. Okay, a second quality control. Okay. All right. And what did Greg suggest about the production process? Uh, repeat the call. Repeat. Repeat the quality, uh, the quality control step. Okay. Yes, that is correct. Repeat it again, right? All right, guys. So right now we are going to move to the grammar part. Yes. Well, we are going to start covering indirect questions. Yes, no questions. Yes. So what are indirect questions? What are indirect questions? Carla, can you please help us uh, reading this? Indirect questions allow for a more polite and indirect way of asking or reporting questions, making them sweet, suitable. Come? Suitable. Suitable for various formal or polite situations. They're, they are commonly used in interviews, business settings, formal correspondence or when speaking to someone in a higher position or authority. Okay, higher, higher position. Higher position, higher position. Higher position, very good. Okay, guys, so um, the indirect questions um, that we use in English are for us to be more polite, okay? And we must use indirect questions uh, whenever we are in business settings, interviews, formal correspondence, or when speaking to someone in a higher position or authority, right? In this case, it's for us to sound polite. So on your left, you have direct questions and on your right, you have indirect question. So as you can see right here, we have, did you receive a copy of the analysis for the production process? This one is a direct question. Why is it direct question? Why? As you may see, are the ones that we normally actually make, right? The direct questions. Uh, do you like chocolate? Did you do your homework? Did you complete the platform? Uh, did they go to the beach, etc. right? So those are direct questions. Now, what happens with the indirect questions? Of course, those are longer than direct questions, but they sound better in different situations, okay? So we have the same question, you see? The same question, the same direct question into indirect question. And this one is, I wonder if you received a copy of the analysis for the production process. Yeah. Teacher, I wonder is like, uh, me pregunto. Correct. I wonder, right? And this is polite. This is polite. Yes. I wonder, but remember that is not what you say, is how you say it, right? So in this yes. case, I mean, it's like, it depends on your tone of voice as well, right? Yeah. Yeah, so I wonder if you receive a copy of the analysis for the production process, right? And the other one is, did you receive a copy of the analysis for the production process? I mean, both are okay, but um, the indirect question sounds better in most cases, whenever you don't know the person, right? Or whenever you want to probably... I don't know, maybe if there has been something bad during the day and you want to probably make the environment soft, right? I mean, it depends, yes? But uh, the indirect questions follow this order. Those are questions, but as you can see, we don't have question mark and we don't have the same structure with the direct questions. The structure is just a sentence, right? Look at this one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, and since this one is simple past, that's why we have if you received a copy 
of the analysis for the production process because this one is simple pass. So we need to make it simple pass as well. Yes. So now um, the structure is the following. As you can see, it says that the indirect questions typically follow a statement or introductory phrase. And this could be a verb like wonder or would like to know as well. So we have some examples. Look at the indirect question and the direct question. Look at this, okay? So have you, this is the direct. Have you spoken to him? Direct question. Indirect. I would like to know if you had spoken to him. Yeah. Of course, it is longer than the direct question, but uh, they help a lot. Then we also have the second example. Did he finish his homework? Indirect question. I wondered if he had finished his homework. Yeah. And we have the examples from the book. Those. So we have number one. I wonder if you received a copy of the analysis for the production process. Compare it to. Did you receive a copy of the analysis for the production process? You see, direct, indirect, direct, indirect. And the second example. I like to know if the quality control step should be repeated once the product is finished. And we have direct. Should the quality control step be repeated once the product is finished? Yeah. So in this case, we need to change a little bit, but it sounds more polite. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, let me ask you, okay? Indirect questions, okay? Remember, typically follow a statement or introductory phrase and this could be a verb like wonder and would like to know. So let's see. We have the direct question. Does she speak Greek? Give me the indirect question. Let's go back. Give me the indirect question. Remember that in this case, we can start with the phrase, that's the first step, okay? The first step is that we need to start with a phrase. So we we can use, I wonder, or I would like to know, okay? Could be, I would like to know if she has spoken. I would like to know, but remember in this case, we have simple present, okay? I would like to know if she speaks Greek. And this is the indirect question. Because it's simple present. Take a look at that. And now we create a sentence. What about number two? Do you have enough money? Uh -huh. So let's start the indirect question. I would like to know, do you have enough money? I would like to know if you have enough money. Very good, you see? And this one is the indirect question yes now what about number three 
Does she love chocolate? I wonder. I wonder. She loves chocolate. Chocolate. If, uh -huh. if she. If she loves, loves chocolate. Chocolate. You are going to always use if. Always if. If. Yes. yes. After wonder. Okay. Correct. Okay. Now, what about a uh, number four? Do they have any free tickets? I would like to know. I would like to know. If. If. They have. They have if they enough. have. Um, free tickets. Yes, any free tickets. Uh -huh. Use the, the same idea, right? Very good. What about number five? Did he go to the party? This one is simple, fast. I wonder if he go to the party. I wonder if he... Go, go, when, go, if he went when? to went the party, to the party. party. Uh -huh. because in this case, we don't have any auxiliary verb, so the verb should go in past because the, the indirect question is in past. I wonder, Paula, I wonder if, if, if Paula. Paula bought the ticket bought the tickets yes so you see yes this is just the beginning of the topic okay those are indirect questions and direct questions simple present and simple past right now Do you have questions? Mm -hmm. Teacher. Yes. We have we have a uh, homework for this topic. Yes. But mm -hmm. I try to to make, but if, for example, in the first uh, sentences, uh, say. Does she play tennis? And I type for the uh, indirect questions. I would like to know if she plays tennis, but uh, mark for incorrect. Exactly. Why? Why? Okay. In this case, um, it's because of the following. We can also, okay, we can also um create other type of indirect questions okay and that's actually the ones that you need to type in there okay so in this case we have indirect and direct yeah and as you can see we have is he a spanish and we can also use can you can could or would you mind Mm -hmm. yes. so oh. this topic is very extensive guys but the book actually covers this part in this case indirect can you tell me if he is a spanish yeah now we also have the second example will she start her new job next week the indirect question with can you tell me if she will start her new job next week? I think that the platform gives you that you need to use. Can you tell me? Okay. Yes. So that's why you need to use can you tell me on the platform because it gives you. Remember that you can use can, could, would you mind? But I mean, the platform says use can you tell me? So you should use can you tell me? Okay. Um, now, Okay, so right now, do you have um, questions related to the, the ones that we covered today? 
Yeah. No. So with the things that um we have on the platform, I will explain like mm, easily. Okay, right now. Okay, you will have those type of questions. Okay. So as you can see, we have does she play tennis? And since the platform tells use, can you tell me what you need to you to use is this one. Can you tell me if she plays tennis? Yeah. And then direct this one. Does he live in Paris? Can you tell me if he lives in Paris? Yeah. And we have, is she hungry? Can you tell me if she is hungry? What about this one? Do you like English? Como sería? Can you tell me if you like English? Or if like that, you see? And then this one, do they work in Canada? Can you tell me if they work in Canada? Yeah, and basically those are indirect questions. Yes, no questions, okay? Yes, no questions. Indirect questions, yes, no questions. Mm -hmm. huh? Yeah, so you sound more polite. That's basically the main idea for indirect questions to sound more polite. Yes? All right. Any other doubt right now? Of course, we still have things to cover about this topic related, right? Tomorrow we are going to continue. But um, do you have any doubt right now, George? No, DJ. Thank yeah. you. Okay, very good. All right, guys. Um, just because of the time, we are going to stop right here. Let me see the one that actually um, has the feedback today. Uh, Carla, please stay with me. Okay, then the okay. other one, thank you very much for connecting today. I'll see you back tomorrow and I hope you have a good night, guys. Take care. Okay. See you tomorrow. Thank you. Good see night. you tomorrow. Good night, see you tomorrow. Good night guys. Good night. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. Bye, guys. See you tomorrow, guys. See you. See you tomorrow, teacher. See you tomorrow, Wendy. Okay. So teacher. let's see. Yes. Teacher, I, ha I have a question. Yes. Uh, I remember a son, they mix. I wonder with a WH question. Um, they say, I wonder how, I wonder why, I wonder something like that. Yes. You can mix with WH question? Yes, and we are going to cover that, yes. Okay. Yes. Bye-bye. Good night. Bye-bye, Luis. Good night. Okay. So, Carla... Um, then we're going to have this feedback, okay, just for us to talk about classes, right, to talk about how you feel with the group, right, I would like to have your feedback about our classes, about the dynamic of the class, so I would like to know how do you feel with our classes right now? Mm -hmm. I think well, um, but in any algunas cosas in some, in some uh -huh. in some class i can start uh, early okay but i try to understand okay okay all right um all right and do you have any question about any topic right now yes e in the adverbial clausal clauses uh -huh. class a okay yes mm -hmm. let me okay uh -huh. tell me what questions do you have about that um, maybe a review okay yes absolutely um let me let me get that class okay class eight let me see can remember because in the platform, uh, it is no, it's difficult. <laughs> mm, okay. Yes, I know the platform. Sometimes it gets 
yeah, it gets kind of difficult for you, I know. Um, let me get that, okay? Because I explained that in a very easy way on, let me see when. Okay. It was, I think that it was on, on Friday, I think. Oh, cla 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 class A? Number nine. Number nine. Number nine. Page number nine. Yes, let me get that one. Mm. Okay, okay. Number eight, where is it? Here it is. Let me see. How do you feel this module? Do you feel that it, it is more difficult? Yes. <laughs> Because it's a uh, it's new topics. Yes, for those me. are new topics. Yes, I know. I think that for most of you are new topics, right? Okay, this is the one, right? The one that 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 we're going to. Okay, well, okay, Carla, look at this. In English, we have adverbial time clauses, right? Para que nos ayudan, nos ayudan para reducir. En este caso, una oración, ¿sí? Entonces, la primera regla que tenemos que identificar es la siguiente. Cuando tengamos oraciones, en este caso, obviamente, por el tema, tenemos bien identificadas todas las oraciones, ¿verdad? En un contexto normal, no siempre vamos a tener adverbial clauses, ¿verdad? Pero en este caso tenemos todas estas que son adverbial time clauses. ¿Cómo uh -huh. sabemos que son adverbial time clauses? Number one, por el adverbio que está en la oración. ¿Cuál es el adverbio en la número uno? The adverb is after. Yes. ¿Cuál es el adverbio en la número dos? El adverbio es before. En la número tres es while. En la número cuatro es when. En la cinco es although. ¿Sí? Entonces, por eso es que estas se llaman adverbial time clauses. Ahora, luego de esto, para nosotros reducirlas, lo que tenemos que hacer es lo siguiente. Tenemos que identificar que ambas oraciones tengan el mismo sujeto. Esta es una oración, esta es una oración y esta es otra oración. Son dos oraciones en una. Entonces, vamos a ver si todas cumplen con esa regla. Tengo una oración, bueno, desde before empieza y desde after la oración. La segunda está separada por la coma. También cumple, sí, también tengo dos oraciones, también tengo dos oraciones, también tengo dos oraciones. Miren, sí, entonces la regla sí la cumple, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Vaya, ahí está lo primero. Ahora, vamos a identificar que en ambas oraciones tengamos el mismo sujeto. Veamos si tenemos el mismo sujeto en la, en la primera. They y aquí, the performers. ¿Es el mismo sujeto que they? I think it's, it's not, but it's all about they. Ajá. Entonces, ¿entonces es el mismo o no es el mismo? I think, yes. Sí, es el mismo, porque a pesar que no sale they, pero está hablando de performers, right? Entonces, sí es el mismo. Bye. Entonces aquí ya sabemos que tenemos el primer paso para poder reducir. ¿Ok? Entonces, ¿qué vamos a hacer? Como ya vimos que sí tenemos los mismos sujetos, porque es el primer paso, vamos a eliminar el sujeto de la adverbial clause. Entonces, como esta es la adverbial clause, porque es la adverbial clause, porque lleva el adverbio en ella. Vamos uh -huh. a eliminar they. 
Entonces mm -hmm. solo queda after sang two songs the performers did a dance. Pero ahí no hemos cumplido con la reducción aún. Entonces, ¿qué debemos de hacer? Vamos a poner after y nos dice que el verbo va a ir en ing. Sí. Entonces aquí sí ya estamos cumpliendo con la reducción. Mire, y quedaría de esta manera. Así. Uh -huh. ¿Sí? ¿Se fija? Ahora vamos a ver la número dos. Number two. Veamos. Primero tenemos el mismo sujeto, he y he. Muy bien. Aquí fue más fácil porque era uh -huh. he. Vaya. Entonces, ¿qué dice la regla? Que vamos a eliminar el sujeto de la adverbial clause. Entonces eliminamos he. Y lo último que tenemos que hacer, entonces sería venir y recrear la oración siguiendo el ing. Entonces, answering es, sería el ing. Entonces, aquí ponemos the phone, he grabbed a pencil and notepad. ¿Sí? No. Vaya, mire. Uh -huh. Ok. Entonces, básicamente, también ya la redujimos, mire. Uh -huh. Yes. Vaya, ahora, eh, number three. While I was away in college, I stayed with my roommate's family during one spring break. Tenemos el mismo sujeto. I. 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 Very good. Entonces, si se puede reducir. Venimos y eliminamos el sujeto de la primera adverbial clause. Le damos X. Uh -huh. Y nos dice la regla que si la, la oración tiene verbo to be en presente o en pasado, también lo vamos a eliminar. Entonces, venimos y eliminamos was. Entonces, aquí, pero aquí no tengo verbo entonces yo, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. No importa. Lo que tenemos que hacer es poner lo que quedó. Si no hay verbo, entonces solo ponemos el noun. While away in college, coma, I stayed with my roommate's family during one spring break. Bueno, y todo lo que le seguía, ¿verdad? Entonces así. Uy, stayed. Entonces, miren, y quedaría así. Uh -huh. ¿Sí? Aquí no le voy a agregar a güey, porque eso no es un verbo. Ajá, no, queda así, ¿ok? Queda así. Vale, ahora que ya le expliqué eso, voy a borrar todo y quiero que usted me diga cómo quedaría la 4 y la 5. Maybe when, when working at home, uh -huh. Carla takes her youngest child to school in the morning. Very good. And number five. I know. ¿Cómo se pronuncia? Although. Although. Uh -huh. Although. Although hurting. Mm, no, oh, porque hard. muy bien, hard, porque el verbo sería was, pero como lo quitamos, ya no tenemos verbo. Mm, uh, hard no es verbo. Es noun, es un noun. Ah, ok. Aquí, noun. Now, no, hard. Jack Manage. Uh -huh. Repita después de mí y diga Although. Although, como de. Ajá, uh -huh. Although. Although Heart. Although Heart. Heart. Okay. Although Heart. Jack Manage. Managed. Managed to smile. Very good. 
y quedaría así. Although her Jack managed to smile. Yes. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. I'm interesting. <laughs> yes, much better. Yes. yes. Okay. So, básicamente, eso es lo de reducir las cláusulas. Lo que tienen que fijarse bien es en el verbo to be, porque eso es lo que les confunde a varios. Uh -huh. Entonces, no importa, el verbo to be, bórrele el, el sujeto, Sujete. el verbo to be, y queda lo que esté ahí. Mire, aquí en la 4 es lo mismo. Usted le quitó el sujeto, el verbo to be, dejó working, pero le fue más fácil porque ya estaba en ING. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Entonces, si está en ING, déjelo en ING. Y si sí. no está en ING, déjelo lo que hay. Ok. okay. Yes. Bye. Ok, any other question? ¿Otra duda o pregunta? Mm, no. Es de uni. Subject is the, uh, the only topic. Is the only topic in the platform that you didn't understand? Yes. Okay. And I forget it. Complete the platform. <laughs> okay, don't worry. But now but, that you that you have it, yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. In, in the week. <laughs> in the. Okay. In, very good, okay? Try to complete it, okay? Yes. All right. Okay, Carla, any other comment about the class, about the group, about the dynamic of the class? What do you think? No, it's it's good because um, I think is I learn, I learn more, sorry. Yes, I'm learning more. I'm, I'm learning more because evaluate every day. <laughs> yes, we have evaluations every day, right? Okay, yes, Carla. Well, um, my feedback is that um, this module, I'm, I'm like uh, seeing that you are participating more. Okay, and that is good. La felicito porque está participando más. Ok, y eso es muy bueno porque así usted va a aprender más, Carla, ok. Entonces, eh, eso pues yo le he notado que está participando bastante, así que siga así, participe siempre, ok. Ya que el, todos los módulos, a medida que usted vaya avanzando, son un poquito más complicados y más complejos. Eh, si el módulo 2 está siendo un poquito complejo y el módulo 3 va a ser un poquito más complejo. Imagínense cuando lleguemos a Advanced. Entonces, eh, básicamente, por eso es que debemos de, de, de intermedio, tratar de salir de la zona de confort y la felicito porque usted lo está haciendo, ¿ok? Así que, eh, excelente, siga así, ¿ok? No se desmotive, siempre con la motivación de aprender y, pues, eh, de participar con todos los compañeros cuando estemos en los break rooms y en la sala principal, ¿ok? All right. Thank you, Carla. So then, if you don't have Thank any you. other question, I'll see you back tomorrow, no. okay? See you. Good night. See you. Good night. Good night. Thank you. Good night.